education changes lives. It opens doors to new opportunities, creates new ways of thinking, and has an impact for generations to come. Over 20 years ago, a visionary group of governors saw a new pathway to educational opportunity through technology and a different learning model. This is the story of Western Governors University, a university that started with an idea and has grown to become one of the nation's largest universities. We had to reinvent an alternative process, not to replace traditional higher education, but to supplement it, to serve populations that were not properly served by the existing system. Somewhere in early 1997, I heard about WGU as a wild idea in the West, and it was immediately fascinating to me. Wow, this is a university, this is a group of people that are willing to take on a really big challenge without a lot of resources. The governors had this incredible idea, but it was married by Mike Levitt's vision of utilizing technology for higher education. The World Wide Web, uh, as it was called, the World Wide Web Consortium, that came in in 1993. Here we are discussing technology in 95. If you haven't lived through that, you can't grasp how far we've come since then. Now we had this strange new tool called the internet, and there was a way that people could be educated online, which was a new word. So these were revolutionary concepts, and what a beauty to watch these great men gather to form a revolution to change society. And we believe that this new, more innovative approach to higher education needed to include both new technology and a fundamental shift in what we measure. In January 1997, WGU's Articles of Incorporation were signed and Western Governors University was born. With initial financial support of government, foundations, and private industry, WGU was on its way. There were 12 of us and we had Christmas dinner with all the staff and our spouses. That was the entire operation. It was this thing that we were gonna build from scratch. The most radical two elements of this new idea is it is competency-based and it is student-oriented. What was truly radical was the notion that students could progress toward their degrees by demonstrating competence. It meant that if you really had the knowledge and experience and could demonstrate that effectively, you could proceed toward your degree as rapidly as you were able. That was truly unusual. Key leaders in higher education were instrumental in the development and acceptance of WGU. These included Clara Lovett, then president of Northern Arizona University, and Sam Smith, then president of Washington State University. Two years later, WGU opened its virtual doors. Overcoming uh, thousands of years of tradition is no small task, and higher education has essentially thought the same way about the learning process for a long time. There were many hurdles and misunderstandings about what technology could do to help with teacher education. There was a real negative reaction that this was going to threaten everything that higher education stood for. It needed credibility. And most universities fought this concept of not having a bricks and mortar building with a university president and a 200 year history. WGU was at a very critical moment. Um, we were facing at least two or three more years before we were accredited. We were running out of money. We had lots of skeptics. We needed a new leader. My message is that it's possible to have high quality, affordable higher education but it will require new models, not just tweaking the existing system. I was connected to Bob, who at the time had just left IBM as their global leader for education. And as we talked, it became evident to me that this was the right person. Bob Mendenhall joined WGU in 1999, and by the end of that year, the first programs in IT and education were launched. One year later, WGU celebrated its first graduate, Jenny Kirch. 
a couple years of great planning had taken place and the foundation for the educational model was already in place. We had a challenge to gain accreditation. To get four, essentially four regions to agree that WGU met standards for accreditation was a first in higher education. And it was a hurrah experience. I mean, the, the day we were, we were granted that, we all celebrated. We, <laughs> I mean, it, was, it was just party time. With regional accreditation, enrollment began to climb. We all knew that growth would be there if the model was working right and if the students were satisfied with the success. At about the same time, WGU launched its teacher's college with a grant from the Department of Education. Enrollment took off. The addition of the College of Health Professions in 2008 sent it soaring. Tonight we introduce you to a university aimed at adult students who don't have time for traditional bricks and mortar schools. And it turns out that's just what many Americans find they need as they rush to reinvent themselves. WGU's quality, affordability, and learning model soon began to attract a new generation of governors. And in 2010, WGU launched its first state-based university, WGU Indiana. Over the next few years, seven more states partnered with WGU. They all immediately got the vision of what uh, the governors were really trying to accomplish. April of 2016 ushered in a new era of leadership with the arrival of WGU's current president, Scott Pulsifer. The thing that struck me most was the obsession about really focusing on designing an institution that exists entirely to serve students. Before coming to WGU, President Pulsifer had 20 years of leadership experience in technology-based, customer-focused businesses. Scott's extensive business background is balanced by an intense focus on impacting the lives of individuals and families. We believe talent is universal, but opportunity is not necessarily universal. And education is the single biggest catalyst for people to change their lives. Why? Because it is that bridge from talent to opportunity. In 2019, President Pulsifer was selected by the White House to serve on the American Workforce Policy Advisory Board. We see a very exciting and transformative future for WGU as WGU itself not only continues to grow the number of students we serve directly, but becomes a catalyst for transforming the whole system of higher education for the better. WGU is young for a university, but in its brief history so far, we have pioneered a new learning model, continued to innovate to improve the student experience and student outcomes, and have helped change the lives of more than 135,000 individuals and their families. And we are just getting started. How long does it take to earn a degree from WGU? Well, that's up to you. On average, WGU grads earn their degrees online in two and a half years, compared to the national average of six years. We value mastery of skills and material instead of time spent in class. So if you work hard, learn fast, or even have some prior knowledge, you could graduate faster. Get on the fast track to a degree at WGU. Visit our website to learn more. Dear Robert. Dear Yolanda. Dear Teresa. Dear Ashley. Like you, 21 million Americans are struggling to maintain internet access at home. The fact that you're pursuing an education despite this financial difficulty speaks to your dedication and ambition. Seeing as if you've had to take on multiple jobs to manage your loans. You had to leave your job as an essential worker due to your son's health concerns. Since you moved to rural Texas with your growing family, we know that having reliable access to internet has become a challenge for you. That's why we're thrilled to offer you a WGU Online Access Scholarship. <laughs> wow! Are you serious? Mama. Your scholarship will cover the ongoing cost of broadband internet in your home. So you can follow your dream of becoming a teacher. Follow your dream of running a successful family business. Of one day becoming a school principal. We're wishing you a warm and well-deserved congratulations. 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 
We won't rest until everyone has access to higher education and the tools to make it possible. Sincerely, Western Governors University. My name is Jonathan Concepcion, and I got my MBA in IT management at WGU. My dad had an associate's, my mom had completed her bachelor's, my brother never went to college, and it was one of those, well, at least I got my undergrad. That should be enough. I'll continue working. And then as I considered to think about it and where I wanted to go professionally, where I wanted to grow, what my career goals were, I never saw someone at the level that I kind of aspire to get to without a master's degree. But when I found the WGU program, I was like competency-based, I was like, cool. So if I know it, I can kind of prove it to them and knock the class out, that sounds fantastic. So once I started to do that, I was like, this is something that's actually attainable, something I didn't think I could attain for years. A lot of the programs you'll see out there, you're either getting yourself into a ton of debt or you're just not gonna do it. Uh, and that's where you know WG was great because you can accelerate and you don't pay as much. I worked hard to get my MBA at WGU and three months later, I got my dream job at Nintendo of America. I am applying almost everything I learned in my MBA to what I'm doing on my day-to-day -day at Nintendo. You know, the experience in the program, all those resources that were available just made me successful. I, did, I never felt like I didn't have uh, support. Uh, so I say, for advice, for perspective, just, just pull the trigger. Just hit submit before you change your mind. Let the application go through and just take it from there. I mean, I love my job. It was a great, opportunity and ability to really reach that next step in my career. I grew up in Nice Town, um, not too far from, from here. In Nice Town, there was a saying at one time that there's nothing nice in Nice Town. You have a whole bunch of people offering you drugs, guns, and, and just a way to go back to jail or die in them streets. Growing up around here on the other side of the bridge, um, we didn't uh, see a lot of people uh, doing the right things, let's just say that. We hadn't really seen many other people in our family or even in our community that we knew of that were college graduates. When I was in elementary school, my mother told my brother and I that we were going to college. I did very well in high school. I actually got a scholarship for um, a local university. Four years into the five-year program, I had gathered experience through my co-op and I was offered a great job. When I started working, time just did not allow for me to complete the degree. I'm grateful that I found out about WGU where I could take classes that fit my schedule. It's not only did I walk away with a degree, but I also walked away with a lot of certifications. Shane runs our Information Technology Division, which is a really complex and challenging set of activities. I am the Vice President of Information Technology at a company that drives growth to every corner of Philadelphia. It's rewarding every day to know that I'm making a difference. I heard in a poem, if you hang around wolves, you'll learn how to howl. If you hang around eagles, you'll learn how to soar. Um, Shane is an eagle. Even at a young age, he was always trying to figure out how he can help others. He is truly an inspiration to everybody at PIDC, and I think now through this mural, he's going to have the opportunity to be an inspiration to everybody in this whole community. It's my hope that people will take a look at this, learn about Shane's story by reading the plaque, and be inspired. It feels so good to see him up there and then to think about the road he has traveled. I'm just so proud, very proud. He, he turned out pretty good. You cannot drive around Philly without seeing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of murals. And they tell a story, and it's a neighborhood story. They're important because they tell the story of Philadelphia. They tell the story of the community. 
And what he shows is to people that they too can do it. A future generation will see that someone just like them can make it. Someone just like them has a story to tell. And maybe it'll spark something in them to say, that's his story, so now I'm going to write mine. There was a few things that I was hoping I would find here today. First of all, that we would all be wearing the traditional WGU uniform, jammies and slippers instead of cap and gown. I grew up in the southeastern inner city part of San Diego, where gangs and violence were a common sight and broken homes were a part of the norm. Being the first to change the history of my family was my way to break the cycle and show them that it can be done. You don't have to be a product of your environment or have the past dictate your future. I told everyone that I was going to Western Governors University, the biggest nonprofit, fully accredited online university that you've probably never heard of. I loved to tell WGU's story, but I soon began to realize that it was not just WGU's story. It is my story. It is your story. It's our story. The CEO said, hey intern, you're pretty good at solving these business problems. How about a career? She said, how about a career as a business manager at our medical practice? I said, yes, I need a career. <laughs> I had been looking for one of those for a very long time. I have finally mustered up the courage to admit to everyone here that for many years, I was an undocumented immigrant. Because of this and for too long, I believe that my dream of becoming a teacher would have to be forgotten. As an update to that story, I stand in front of you today, a proud U.S. citizen and a teacher. The most important lesson that my father taught me when I was growing up was about self-accountability. He told me, with everything in his might, as long as you live, don't you ever care, cry, or complain about what somebody didn't do for you. If you want something bad enough, you gotta work as hard as you can and go get it yourself. The only one who can stop you is you. You had the power to be as great as you want to be. Believe in yourself. And remember, success is waiting on you. WGU, let's go. Once you've experienced the benefits of WGU's affordable, personalized approach to getting your degree online, it's natural to want to tell everyone you meet. Now, there's an easier way to let friends and family know about WGU. Refer a Friend is a platform that makes it easy to tell friends and family about the benefits of WGU and earn rewards. Sign up just once to get a personalized link that you can share with as many people as you want on blogs, emails, forums, and your favorite social media platforms. You can track how many people have checked out WGU from your link and earn cool WGU gear in the process. More referrals, more rewards, more convenient. Sign up today to refer a friend and help us change people's lives through education.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WGU's 2021 Winter Virtual Commencement. I'm Allison Bell, Regional Vice President and WGU Indiana Chancellor. Graduates, families, friends, and loved ones, you've played an important role in helping your graduate reach this incredible milestone. We thank you for this support and we're thrilled to have you join our celebration. I now have the honor of introducing Tyler Carter from Eagle Mountain, Utah, who will sing our national anthem. Tyler earned his Master of Business Administration degree in 2020. He shares that his wife and his program mentor were instrumental in his academic journey. He currently works as a senior project manager. Congratulations, Tyler, and thank you for joining us today. And now, if you are able, we ask that you please rise for our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, Tyler. That was truly wonderful, and thank you for honoring our great country. It is my honor to convene WGU's first winter virtual commencement. I want to welcome our graduates and the friends and family by your sides who have supported you through your journey. Many of you are watching from WGU Facebook or the WGU YouTube platform. Please take a moment now to let us know where you are online in the chat. That's awesome, seeing places like Seattle and Austin, Charlotte, Dallas, Indianapolis. It's truly remarkable how our technology today can allow so many of us to convene across this great country. Graduates, today marks a significant milestone in your lives. It represents a dream achieved, but also countless challenges faced and obstacles overcome, including a pandemic. WGU was founded to serve night owls, those who work through the nights earning their degrees while they keep their commitments to families and jobs. But for all of you, graduating in the midst of a pandemic, a season that has caused each of us to adapt and grow in so many ways, this milestone represents an unprecedented level of dedication, persistence, creativity, and resilience. This hard-earned achievement will move your lives forward. It will move your families forward, but it will also move forward your communities, the organizations in which you serve and work, and our nation as a whole in ways both measurable and immeasurable. Today's commencement celebrates you, our graduates, for setting and accomplishing a significant goal and moving to a new stage of your life. Many of you are graduating with a family member. We offer a special congratulations to those of you who are sharing this accomplishment with a loved one. WGU is grateful to be recognized year after year as a military-friendly university. We are proud to honor the military members who are graduating, and we thank you for your service to our country. Also joining us virtually are many of our WGU faculty and staff. 
If you've been a beneficiary of the time and dedication they put into their work, please put your hands together and give them a round of applause. Since our first graduate in 2000, WGU has awarded more than 215,000 degrees, including more than 47,000 in 2020 alone. I'd like to share some facts about today's graduating class. 42% of you are the first in your families to earn a college degree. We extend a special congratulations to you. Your average age is 39 years old, the youngest is 18, and the oldest is 66. 78% of you are women. The average time to graduation for those of you earning a bachelor's degree was two years and seven months. And as I always like to joke, what took you so long? And the average time for those of you earning a master's degree was one year and five months. You work diligently to reach an educational milestone that will change the course of your own history and influence future generations. You have aspired to greater things. Thank you for allowing all of us at WGU to play a part in the fulfillment of your dream. It has truly been our privilege. And now we have the honor of hearing from two of your fellow graduates. I'm delighted to introduce Sarah Tallarico, Master of Science Nursing Leadership and Management from Ohio. Sarah will speak first, and then we'll hear from Nisreen Korkutli, Bachelor of Science Accounting from Georgia. Please join me in welcoming Sarah and Nisreen. We're here. We made it. We graduated during a global pandemic. Through personal trials and tribulations, victory and despair, we made it. To get to this moment, I followed a long and winding road. I made a few questionable turns along the way, but I still made it to this beautiful and victorious destination. I'm willing to bet your journey was interesting too. We all have a story to tell. So without further ado, here's my story, at least the Reader's Digest version. I graduated from West Geauga High School over 20 years ago, WGHS to WGU. See the WG to WG? It feels like it was meant to be. After graduation, I went off to a traditional brick and mortar university. I enjoyed the experience, making many friends, joining a sorority, and testing the limits of my newfound independence. Then I took a semester off to save up some money and I became a state-tested nursing assistant working in a nursing home. During that time, I had a beautiful baby boy. And after the birth of my son, returning to school seemed impossible. I was a single mother working two jobs, trying to keep it all together. I enrolled part-time in a local university for night courses towards a BSN. During clinicals, I realized it would be impossible to support myself and my son while going to school full time. I had an unpredictable schedule and I was frequently on call outside of my scheduled shifts. I again made the painful decision to press pause on my dreams and leave school. Not long after, I ended up meeting someone who had changed my life forever. My partner, Dayton Phillips, believed in me, supported me, and pushed me to follow my dreams of becoming a registered nurse. The fastest way to start practicing was to complete my associate's degree in nursing. I graduated with dual degrees, I passed my licensing exam, and I began working as a registered nurse. I then began to contemplate the opportunities I could have if I were to obtain my bachelor's degree. I was busy working full-time as an operating room nurse with on-call obligations. I had two children, and I knew that a traditional learning path would not fit my lifestyle. That's when I found WGU. Thanks to WGU's competency-based model, I could work at my own pace and utilize the years of knowledge that I had amassed working in the medical field. After I had earned my bachelor's degree, the pride that I felt was indescribable. Because of my experience with WGU, I decided to continue on and I earned my master's degree through the university as well. Nothing worth having comes easy though, does it? During my second term, I required surgery that slowed my progress due to post-op complications. Thank goodness I had chosen WGU and I could continue working at my own pace. Just when I began to feel better, my dad suddenly passed away, which made it difficult to continue. With the love and support of my family, friends, and my amazing mentor, Molly Anders, I pushed on. 
I can honestly say that WGU was a substantial part of my support system. I relied on those mentor calls to keep me motivated. So, can anybody guess what roadblock came next? That's right, folks, 2020. Happy New Year, best year ever. Not so much. March 17th was the day that the US leaders tightened restrictions to help slow the coronavirus outbreak. From that day on, COVID seemed to permeate the fabric of our very existence. Some of us were affected differently than others, but all of us have been weathering this storm together while pursuing a degree. And in my case, working as a nurse full-time at University Hospitals, a level one trauma center that cares for a high volume of COVID patients. All of this going on while taking care of my two children, whose schools decided to go to virtual learning. God bless the teachers. Hard work and determination paid off, because here we are. 2020 was one for the history books. We were able to rise above and overcome our struggles that were complicated exponentially by COVID. We did not stop and we do not stop. We have conquered many obstacles to arrive at this remarkable moment. Revel in it. Appreciate the journey and take pride in what we have accomplished. Remember, Albert Einstein said, a day without learning is a day wasted. There is so much to learn and so little time to learn it. Be proud. We are resilient and we have achieved wondrous things. We are adaptable to change. We are a force to be reckoned with. We are Night Owls. Twenty twenty was an interesting year for all of us, but guess what? We are here and we made it. We all have come a very long way to reach this point and celebrate all the hard work and sleepless nights. I have tasted success before because I had a life full of accomplishments when I was in Syria. I have a bachelor's degree in economics and master's in e-commerce, and I was leading the research department in the central bank, traveling the world in my job. However, after the war started in Syria in 2010, we lost our home and life kept getting harder until I decided to go to Turkey, leaving behind my family, memories, friends, job, and every beautiful thing I enjoyed for almost 27 years. I met the love of my life online while he was living in the United States. We got married in Turkey and I remained there for two years until I received a visa so I could reunite with him in America. Those two years added a lot to me as a person. I learned Turkish, coding, web design, and I practiced yoga every single morning. After I was reunited with my husband, I thought this will bring all the happiness to me. But as a working woman, I wasn't used to the static life. I had worked since I was still in school, and I never stopped setting goals and working to accomplish them. I tried to find a job with my rich resume, but guess what? I was always an overqualified candidate for any of the jobs I applied for. I ended up working as an assistant teacher, which wasn't a good fit for me. I'm an economist. After I had my son, I fell into depression and I felt like I was living the life of someone else. Then one day I was watching a YouTube video and I heard this sentence, do something for yourself. This was like an awakening alarm to me. I decided to pursue a new career path in accounting. I worked on my GED at home with a six month old baby because at the time I couldn't transfer any of my school credit from Syria. Then I enrolled in a technical school to get an associate degree in accounting and I completed my first year with great success and I got an internship at that time. My husband had graduated from WGU with a master's degree in information technology. So I decided to waste no more time and give it a shot at WGU. I transferred my credit and started a bachelor's in accounting and I finished my degree in four terms benefiting from my previous experience. That took a lot of hard work and dedication. And by the way, Besides my husband and me, we have other family members and friends who are proud WG graduates or current students. 
This is only one step toward my goal of becoming a successful forensic accountant. My next step is going to be earning my master's degree from WGU. Because guess what? This school is for us. The ones who know what we want and we know how to get there. We have a plan. And remember, no matter how hard it sounds, you never know until you try to do it. Only then, you reveal your real abilities and discover new aspects of yourself. Congratulations to everyone, and a very big thank you to my family who supported me, my program mentor, and all the faculty who were always there for us along the way, making sure we're getting the help we need to accomplish our goals. And finally, a word to my father who passed away recently, and I didn't get to see him after I left Syria more than seven years ago, that I did add one more accomplishment to that list. I know you're happy looking down at me and are very proud of me. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah and Nisreen, for sharing your stories. Nisreen, your path to get here today was far from easy, but your drive and determination carried you through. You truly embody resilience. And Sarah, I love that you wrapped your story with the wise words of Albert Einstein. A day without learning is a day wasted. There is so much to learn and so little time to learn it. Your determination and eagerness to learn will take you far. Congratulations to you both on your success. And both of your stories are a reminder that even though at times the vision of our aspiration may be obscured or even dimmed at times by life's challenges, it is always there. It never goes away. And just as the clouds that obscure a peak of a mountain, that with the brightness of a new day, it's once again revealed to our view. I'm so grateful for your stories and the inspiration that it provides to me and to every single one of us. So congratulations to, your, to this incredible milestone, and thank you again for your inspiring stories. Now I am pleased to introduce Marcus Ogden, our commencement speaker. Growing up in a single parent home with a father who inspired perseverance and fairness, Marcus learned how to define his values and set goals. He attended Howard University from 1998 to 2002, where he played Division I football. In 2003, Marcus was drafted into the NFL as an offensive lineman, where he played with the Titans, Bills, Ravens, and Jaguars. After five years in the league, he retired to pursue a career in construction and contracting. At the age of 27, Marcus founded a construction company and experienced fast growth. In 2010, he was recognized as the African American Subcontract of the Year for the state of Maryland. Then, the unexpected happened. His business went bankrupt, losing nearly $2 million on one project in a matter of 90 days. After much defeat, Marcus got a part-time job as a custodian and, with more determined hard work, became an inspirational speaker, executive coach, and best-selling author, helping to build the success of others. Please welcome Marcus Ogden. Thank you so much, Scott. Hello, graduates of WGU Night Owls. I am so excited to be here today to give you the commencement speech for your graduation. But before I get into my speech, which is titled, The Power of Pivoting to Help You Create a Legacy, I want you to understand something. What you all have done is achieved a huge milestone. I'm gonna talk with these ladies that spoke to you all from your graduating class. You all have faced adversity. You persevered through. You faced hardship, you kept going. You faced struggles and you're here today still standing. This is a huge accomplishment. Be proud of yourselves. You've earned that right. Now, in life, it's so important for you to pivot. Pivot is the art of changing your strategy without changing your vision or final destination. In life, you're gonna face adversity hard times, struggles. The people who are successful in life, they don't give up. They pivot, they make a detour, they change the road, they make a tweak, they make an adjustment. 
whatever is necessary, they get it done. Just like you night owls, you all have hardships you face. You all have endured struggles, but all of you have pivoted to get the degree you've earned today. So I'm gonna to talk to you about how now you can pivot and take the degree you have and elevate to a high level of success for yourself and your family to create that legacy you've always dreamed of. Now, here's a couple tips I'm gonna give you before I tell you my story. Number one, lean on your WGU inner circle. You've earned that right. You are here, you have graduated. Your net work is your net worth. Again, your net work is your net worth. Lean on your inner circle. That's how you can grow, expand, and get opportunities. Number two, don't be afraid to make mistakes. It builds resiliency. If I had not made mistakes in my life, I wouldn't be here today talking to you amazing graduates about my story. And the third thing, I heard this several times from other speakers earlier, be sure to learn daily and learn from your mentors. Your mentors want to see you do great things. Use them, call them, email them. Now that you've graduated, don't go dark. They are really driven to help you be the best version of yourself. So again, lean and learn from your WGU mentors. Now, I'm gonna tell you my personal story to give you a little bit of background of who I am. From a very early age in life, I faced a pivot situation. When I was eight years old, my parents divorced. Let's go a step further. Our mother left us on Christmas morning. I woke up eight years old, never gonna forget this. I asked my brother, where's mommy, Jonathan, where's mommy? And for six months, she's at the store, Marcus, she's at the store, I was eight years old. Christmas morning, our mother left us. My father pivoted. He became a mother and a father, raised two boys to do three things in life, respect women, respect ourselves, and education over sports. The way he raised me allowed me to get a scholarship to go to Howard University and play for the Howard University Bison. Again, from Howard, I pivoted again. I went to school to become an attorney and also potentially a financial planner. I ended up getting drafted into the National Football League by the Jacksonville Jaguars and Jack Del Rio. That was my first pivot. From there, I had a great career in the NFL for almost six years. But again, in my life, I had to what? I had to pivot. I wasn't prepared to end my NFL career when it happened. For about six months, I struggled immensely. An alcoholic, I was depressed, I had anxiety, I had a lot of bad habits. But eventually, I found my construction company, Caden Premier Enterprises. Caden Premier Enterprises, I grew it to be the largest African-American subcontracting business, minority owned in the city of Baltimore and the state of Maryland. But unfortunately, as the company grew, so did my ego. I wasn't grounded. I did not listen to any mentors in my life. I thought I knew everything. I had a fixed negative mindset. Because of that, I ended up making a really big mistake, spent about $2.5 million of my money in less than 90 days, was denied a change order, and I had to file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy. In 2013, ladies and gentlemen, I lost everything. I lost my home. I lost both my cars in the same day. When I moved to Raleigh from Baltimore, I had $400 to my name. That's it. I was one week away from being homeless. Thank God the NFL helped me. I did not go homeless. I was working for Merrill Lynch in Durham, got fired after two months. All my fault. The next day, got hired to a construction company, fired five days later. They shut down the sales store of the company. I'm out of a job. 
the only job I could get. I was a custodian working from 10 p.m. until 5 a.m. So when I hear the word night owls, I get excited because like you all, I worked, I pivoted, I did whatever I had to do to take care of my family. From 10 p.m. till 5 a.m. for six months straight, I made $8.25 an hour. It was my wake up moment as a custodian though that turned my life around to the final pivot where I am today. I was taking out someone's trash as I normally did on my shift. The trash got over my bare skin, my body, my clothes. When I was throwing out in the garbage, I didn't see the rip. All that came back on my body. Horrible, protruding, nasty trash, spoiled milk, rotten meat. And that's when I told myself, Marcus, you need to wake up, you need to start listening to people, take accountability, get your life back on track. And that's exactly what I did. I made the decision, I'm going to pivot and become a speaker. Start speaking in September 2013 for two and a half years. Did not get one paid job. So all you all have been through to graduate, to be here today, the adversity, the hardships, the sleepless nights, being night owls, doing whatever you've had to do to take care of your family, my hat's off to you. I know exactly what that feels like. Finally, I got my first paid job in April 2016 for Millermont College. I have not looked back since. I've worked for many Fortune 500 companies as a speaker, written two best-selling books, turned my life completely around, and I have pivoted. Now, I have a question for you. Are you gonna be willing to listen to what I have to tell you now on the action step part of this keynote to help you elevate to a high level of success that you already have and be prepared to pivot to get the best out of your life for you and for your family? There is a big, big thing in life I always tell people. The number one enemy we have to overcome on our journey is ourselves. Again, the number one enemy we have to overcome on our journey is ourselves. But I'm gonna give you a trick. There's, a, there's a, something called an unbreakable mindset. There are three big keys to an unbreakable mindset. Number one, have good physiology. Move with energy. Be passionate. Be excited. Give life. Be energetic. When you have good physiology, it radiates to other people. Number two, control your mental focus. If it's about you, you can fix it for yourself, address it. If it's not about you, you can't do anything about it, don't focus on it. Focus on what you can control and control your mental focus. And the third, for goodness sakes, believe at your core that you deserve to succeed. Believe at your core that you deserve to succeed. You have graduated today. You've worked hard. You're a night out graduate of WGU. That means something. But if you don't believe it, why would anybody else? So again, good physiology, control your mental focus, believe in you. And finally, I have a, a process to help you pivot. Number one, be poised. When you're pivoting in life, going to a new journey, making a new tweak in the road, be confident, be assured of yourself, be radiating energy and positivity, be poised. When you are poised in life, it helps you to attract people to what? Follow you where you're going. The I, be inspirational, breathe life into people. Don't be motivated for external gain, money, notoriety, fame. Your graduating speakers before me said they were inspired to make a change in life. I was bankrupt, broke, almost homeless seven and a half years ago. I'm here today talking to you all. If I can do it, you can do it. V, have a victory mindset. A fixed mindset is totally negative. think you know everything. Don't be like that. I was that, became bankrupt. Growth mindset is good, but a victory mindset, you care about your growth, your family's growth, your employee's growth, your mentor's growth, everybody around you. 
have a victory mindset, and you can achieve great things. Oh, observe. Whatever you want to do in life, observe the industry. Look around, have your eyes open, have your ears open. We have two eyes, two ears, one mouth. Observe what's going on. And the T, be a tactician. If you have a strategy in life, if you plan to make a move, be a tactician, execute. I say this all the time. Bill Belichick, an amazing strategist. Tom Brady, the best execution I've ever seen on the National Football League level. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you have earned this achievement. It's a monumental gain for you and your family. But in life, you have adversity, you have hardships, you have struggles. Be prepared to pivot. Be poised, be inspirational, have a victory mindset, observe, be a tactician. Doing those things gives you the best chance to achieve success for you, your family, and create that legacy that you love, that you deserve, and you've always dreamed of. Thank you. That was incredible, Marcus. Thank you so much for that inspirational message. I'm truly appreciative of, of some of the things that you mentioned there, particularly this notion of really ensuring that you lean in to that circle, a network of friends. And like, it just reminds me of this uh, simple phrase that you will get what you give. And the more that you can contribute to your family, community, the network, and the alumni a network that you're now part of, it will also come back to you and help you as you continue your journey. I also love just the notion simply that uh, mistakes are not to be feared. They present opportunities for learning. The other great example that you give all of us, Marcus, is the accountability for one's own life and one's own self and making sure that you leverage that ownership and then truly pivot. So thank you so much for that inspirational message. And now we will hear from Dr. Marty Bakerstein, Provost and Chief Academic Officer, who will confer degrees. We will now recognize each of our master's degree graduates. Although you are not physically here with us, would the candidates for master's degrees and educator endorsements please rise, if you're able, wherever you are. Upon the favorable recommendation of our faculty and the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and member governors of Western Governors University, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree or endorsement you have earned to include the Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Business Administration, Master of Education, Master of Science, or Educator Endorsement with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations and welcome to our community of innovative, bold, and resilient professionals. Stand by for your moment in the spotlight and congr congratulatory messages from your college leaders. Hello, I'm Sean Atkins, Senior Vice President and Executive Dean of the College of Business. On behalf of all of us here at WGU, including your program mentors, course instructors, and faculty, we would like to congratulate you on earning your degree. We are proud of your accomplishment and wish you all the best. Shantae Doran, Taylor Mack, Stacy Mumpower, Jessica Diaz Pasmina, Latanya Powers, Elizabeth Tilson. Stephanie Vicente, Zachary Williams, Jeffrey Austin, William Bartley, Sansare Batten, 
Yvette Bales. Angela Burnaby. Bhakti Bhutta. Laura Boldry. Michelle Briggs. Shauna Brown. Alina Carbonell Angarosa. Daniel Cardenas. Michael Cerizo. Jeremiah Clark. Bridget Codling. Ryan Cornelius. Cordero Cotton. Jennifer Cox. Ashley Daly. Victoria Gore. Dyra Harris. Sharona Holmes. Rebecca Huddleston. Jennifer Jagdeo. Austin Jones. Terrence Kelly. Dwayne King. Michael King. Monique Kisner. Lee Laskowski. Sheila Lewis. Anna Lytle. Ray McNally. Michaela Melanson. Mary Mendy. Madison Meyer. Karen Murga. Amanda Pecorero. Amisha Perry Childs. Alajoki Ralateju. Lang Ramatar. Michelle Rockwell. Thomas Seavey. Janet Shields Cruz. Andrea Sissons. Eleni Solar. <laughs> Amanda Spradlin. Kada Star King. Maya Swan. Kendall Tillis. Byron Volgamore. Samantha Weaver. Ann Winston. Shirley Woods. Lawrence Zenon. Tina Dormany. Lisa Schaefer. Afulabi Abdul. Allison Alvarez. Claire Antila. Amy Brown. Max Burris. Tyler Carter. 
Kilty Divine. Angela Dorsey. Danielle Durogie. Kyle Egnin. Vanessa Fields. Caitlin Flores. Rodriguez Brewster. Elizabeth Garcia. Melissa Goodson. Carrie Graham. Philip Gutierrez. Latoya Hutchinson Rose. Maria Isabel Hudson. Anthony Johnson. Karen Johnson. Renee Johnson. Sierra Jones. Sadaf Khalid. Therese Victoria Lau. Doris Angeline Lawrence. Marley Lemons. Sonia Lewis. Tiffany Lund. Nika Mason. Kamisha McDonald. Shay McIntosh. Mac McLinn. Ong Nguyen. Michelle Olson. Shahoon Patel. Kendra Phillips. Jennifer Price. Victor Ramirez. Eliza Robinson. Carrie Rodriguez. Rebecca Rollins. Preston Rowley. Peter Sandor. Evan Schaefer. Riley Shively. Raquel Silva. Ken Simmons. Nicole Simon. Kimberly Soto. A. A. Thon. Charles Thompson. Amanda Webster. Tracy Wynn. Michael Yowd. Autumn Bailey. Jeremy Bauer. Andrea Bose. Melanie Barrage. Nicole Clapper. William David Capato Jr. Robin Megan Calloway Dianix. Laura Endicott. Melissa Fink. Aaron Freeland. Jetbro Art Gatdula. 
Perry Giacomelli. Pamela Greenwood. Erica Henry Mitchell. Jasmine Hippolyte. Opal Howard. Brandy Hughes. Stephanie Johns. Susanna Lake. Isabel Landa. Maureen McCowan. Wendy Myers. Jessica Wynn. Perla Oliva Hernandez. Marianne Peters. Lindsay Diane Peterson. Rachel Sanchez. Coral Shaw. Wendy Smith. Jamie Yango. David Anderson. Cheryl Brown Mitchell. Jenna Burke. Christopher Lockhart. Tammy Madison. Sarath Safizan. Grayson Youngquist. Congratulations to the graduates of the College of Business. Hello, I'm Dr. Jan Jones Shank, Senior Vice President and Executive Dean of the College of Health Professions. What an amazing accomplishment. You did it. Congratulations on completing your degree and joining our Night Owl family. We're all incredibly proud to have been part of your professional journey. On behalf of all of us at WGU, your program mentors, course instructors, and evaluators, we wish you happiness and success in all of your endeavors. And please, stay in touch. Heather Adams. Anthony Alvarado. Stacy Anguiano. Janice Lauren Bull. Courtney Conger. Cecilia Davis. Shelley Edwards. Rebecca Falar, Irma Hinkle, Mary Ann Hutchins, Mary Ann Johnson, Trina LaRue, Margaret Mayer. Jacqueline Mendiola. Annie Meyer. Samuel Morgamo. Faith Mungai. Erica Mushipa. Gausomenia Nathan. Carla Nelson. Jennifer Reyes, Teresa 
Reyes. Lai Seichow. Colleen Ann Santos. Lori Schaff. Heather Shaw. Linda Sylvia. Marina Sotero Galvin. Helen Sullivan. Erica Sutton. Deborah Villegas. Ryan Wagner. Jessica Weinman. Charisse Abernathy. Beatrice Aguanobi. Alexis Anangallen. Catherine August Autry. Arifa Bacchus. Crystal Banks. Danielle Besti. Gladys Boyce. Elaine Bridge. Chris Cavanaugh. Francesca Cologne. Tammy Daniel. Ngozi Izike. Natalie Gay. Natalie Goodwin. Colleen Gustafson. Beth Hagedorn. Misha Hardin. Shanna Oz Haroba. Tanya Hebner. Janelle Heimer. Celeste Hernandez Morales. Cheryl Hurley. Kathleen Iniguez. Erica Jackson. Crystal Johnson. Lonnie Johnson. Shamara Denise Long. Katie Likens. Morgan Majors. Sydney Mead Smith. Jennifer Michael. Gait Mondesir. Lisa Page. Bria Parks. Ashley Peters. Michelle Romero. Kimberly Ross. Julia Roy. Eden Ruiz. Jessica Sebring. Jessica Sloan. Ashley Stiff. Sarah Tallarico. Karen Talbot. Eric Usher. Manka Vifonzi. Adrienne Whalen. Tia Wright. Jennifer Bernardino. Marquita Booker. Mark Francis Concepcion. Stacy Keaton. Cheryl Howard. Kimberly Abel. 
Michaela Burdeen Ray. Hope Cummings. Gerald Guimaras. Lisa Marissa Dea. Dana Smith. Gloria Smith. Jennifer Walker. Jennifer Will. Congratulations to the graduates of the College of Health Professions. Hello, I'm Dr. Elke Leeds, Dean and Academic Vice President of the College of Information Technology. And you did it. What an incredible accomplishment in reaching your goal to earn your degree. On behalf of all of us here at WGU, our associate deans, your program chairs, program mentors, course instructors, and evaluators, congratulations. We wish you the very, very best. Congratulations. Jason Barron. Michael Bicat. Musanda Chishimba. James Landurand. Pascal Mokum. Ulaolua Aloepo. Amoniyi Aloepo. Jose Regis. Bulaji Roberts. Irvin Sandoval. Jerome Smith. Kenneth Ta. Stephen Wood. Christina Fernandez. Arpita Kathari. Terry Newman. Jarek Nieves. Vincent Webster. Alufemi Adedeji. Nicole Brewer. Justin Calabrese. Trina Campbell. Scott Garrett. Rob Jackson. Michelle Johnson Denard. Ashley Lawson. Dean Lo Negro. Althea Payne. Charles Rose. Cynthia Vega. Chang Yang Zhang. Congratulations to the graduates at the College of Information Technology. Hello, I'm Dr. Aaron Popham, Dean and Academic Vice President of the Teachers College. We are so proud of you and your accomplishment. Congratulations on reaching this goal and earning your degree and graduating from WGU. From all of your program mentors, course instructors, and evaluators, and the rest of the WGU Night Owl family, we wish you the very best. May your career as an educator bring you great joy and satisfaction as you impact the lives of the K-12 students you will be privileged to serve.
Michelle Grossman. Samantha Juarez. Catherine Nardi. Rebecca Roast Monteith. Dina Salem. Jessica Bodar. Judy Brown. Carrie Daniels. Shai Drex. Chanel Wheels. Felicity Becker. Tara Conley. Brianna Prerick. Kimberly Fulton. Raina Moore. Lauren Patricia King. Meg Maglio. Stephanie Dixon. John Boom. David Nelson. Leah Ailey. Rebecca Allen Odell. Nicole Amato. Sarah Biggerstaff. Sienna Bingham. Ashley Hollinsworth. Mary Martin. Kathleen Martins. Sarah Marie Murano. Tabitha Nickens. Brittany Ott. Natasha Rice. Jill Templeton. Whitney Wenzel. Caitlin Bond. Heather Grubb. Brian Fries. Jamila Hassan. Jaywan On. Ruth Beers. Lacey Borland. Dawn Fortune Brown. Heather Hansen. Toby Jones. Rachel Quackenbush. Lori Reed. Toby Skipper. Latanya Streeter. Olivia Trashaset. Anna Gabriela Velasquez. Emily Barcliffe. Tasha Baim. Andrea Borel. Deborah Cordoza. Cindy Cruz. Nanette Edwards. Tori Fackrell. Whitney Gilmore. Lydia Guerrero. Lorianne Jones. Savannah Linton. Tiffany Lotes. 
Christopher Martin. Irene Martinez. Dina Nemchek. Kimberly Oliver. Tamara Parks. Lindsay Peoples. Tara Polk. Amanda Rispoli. Ashley Roberts. Angelina Roca. Amanda Ryan. Daisha Soxjin Campbell. Lydia Salveson. Tirzu Smith. Clarice Swanson. Julie Thorngren. Angela Walter. Stephen Arndt. Lauren Cameron. Lisa Zernikowski. Jordan Doty. Ayat Omahalawi. Amanda Everhart. Jordan Feyman. Abby Falkenberry. Ann Gill. Jaina Inderbitson. Jerry Johnson. Jessica Kingsmill. Alicia Kuvaluski. Lisa Lawrence. Jessica Juoliva Leshner. Misty Lusk. Marla May. Ashley Mitchell. Allison Morrissey. Brenda Munoz. Carla Scott. Angela Simpson. Crystal Smith. Ariana Starling. Megan Takayoshi. Tani Tamara. Devin Wakeman. Laverne DaCosta Williams. Carrie Youngren. Ali Abdul Jawad. Casey Dupart. Terrian Lockridge. Brittany Mio. David Phillips. Cynthia Griffith Zimmerman. Amanda Luscombe Love. Beth Nielsen. Constance Tyler. Jill Walker.
Congratulations to the graduates of the Teachers College. With the candidates for bachelor's degrees and post-baccalaureate teacher preparation endorsements, please rise if you are able, wherever you are. Upon the favorable recommendation of our faculty and the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and member governors of Western Governors University, I hereby confer upon you the bachelor's degree or endorsement that you have earned to include the Bachelor of Arts, the Bachelor of Science, or the post-baccalaureate teacher preparation endorsement with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. You may now move the tassel from the right to the left side of your mortarboard. Congratulations on this important milestone in your lives. Stand by for your moment in the spotlight. Taylor Bridges. Sean Brislin. Bertie Brown. Wiltz Catrere. Fong Dang. Patrick Donovan. Daniel Dussan. Catherine Eastman. Stephanie Hallaby. Gina Huntsman. James G. Trisha Johnson. Nisreen Karkutli. Rita Laplante. Carly Lopez. Joan Martin. Felipe Mata Jr. Danielle McKee. Patrice Miller, Polina Mataiko, Carrie Smith, Barraquette Weldis Lassie, Brietta Williams, Ameze Aklan Barre Harris, Jennifer Boyle, Tracy DeWitt. Erica Fitzwater. Starlene Holgeen. Tara Keyes. Brenda Kempa. Linda Minchu. Alicia Moores. Marissa Peixoto. Jennifer Rambo. Aaron Sandon. Brittany Shu. Jennifer Stinson. Vicki Strawn. Alexandria Witt. Heather Barber. Linda Bishop. Sarah Carter. Jennifer Davidson. Jennifer Flores. Lovelyn Fontecha. Terry Hayward. Judith Ilner Smith. Andrea Jenkins. Lexi Kraut. Deborah Macias. Jennifer Stewart. Molly Weed. Kenji Williams. Judy Albage. Yasmin Alston. Ambriel Armstead. Lane Cahoon. McKenna Dodge, Hannah 
Federico. Russell Kaser. Vernon Lamson. Christina Leopard. Clarelle Rankin. Kennedy Richardson. Victoria Russ. Lori Ann Ganahl. Audrey Van Huff. Michelle Henderson. Thomas Pearson. David Couples. Amber Darwin. Shannon Hanna. Christine Bursley. Nora Marokin. Taya Fisher. Tyree Mayo. Andrea Bell. Hudson Budiqua. Martha Bradley. Ronald Brooks. Nita Christine Brookshire. Carrie Caruso. Krista Christensen. Tiffany Coronado. Tiffany Davis. Sahai Davis. Sonia De Los Santos. Kyle Drummond. Brianna Erickson. Stephanie Evans. Amy Farwell. Patricia Fellows. Richard Felter. Sean Fernando. Jamie Ginter. Beverly Goins Gray. Adriana Grimes. Shayna Guilford. Sheila Hanna. Alcia Hansen. Jeremy Hedin. Denise Hinkson. Hannah Hodston. Tina Hopson. Catherine Howard. Janet Hyder. Tracy Jacobs. Coranda Judkins. Cheryl Kierce. Bethany Kohut. Kira Koss. Evan Krause. Maricela Larson. Brian Lewis. Justin Lord. Cash Mammoth. Deshana Marshall. Alyssa McDaniel. Rachel Milhone. Irvin Navarrete. Kevin Ogle. Daniel Page. Charles Riley. Sandra Rivera. Rachel Robbins. Selena Roque. Julie Schultz. Kathleen Sloan. Jared Smith. Stacy Smith. Rodney Snellgross. Christopher Swanigan. 
Tyler Threadgill, Priscilla Vega, Candace Vogel, Teresa Waite, Melissa Warder, Janet Wire, Chelsea White, Deronda Words, Shanita Wright, Laureen Ziski, Victoria Alderman, Deborah Byers, Amanda Fredland, Ebony Graves Turner, Yan Ting Emily Khan, Angela Caps, Mary Lou Martinez, Brenda Rios, Jordan Rivera, Salong Sam, Andrea Taylor, Jeremy Thomas, Congratulations to the graduates of the College of Business. Kayla Domoraski. Tracy Holmes. Kim Hoskins. Tracy Minerick. Jacqueline O'Sullivan. David Rivera, Sandra Weldon, Angelina Williams, Carmen Williams, Citra Abdosh, Joanny All, Germalyn Atencia, Rachel Babiak. Connie Brown, Andrea Buckley, Samantha Capehart, Brenda Carson, Sarah Kuhn, Jenny Cordova, Joy Culver, Jennifer Dawson, Lisa D'Angelo, Latoya Dent, Mylan Bona Diking, Lindsay Dusak, Josiane Edwards, Danisha Franklin, John Saeed Fulla. Victoria Gamboa, Crystal Garrett, Erica Gaspar, Amanda Goins, Sarada Grayer, Lawrence Greer Jr., Patricia Gidry. Jenny Hansen, Kay Harrell, Carol Heithouse, Patricia Hope, 
Ashley Jackson. Cheryl Jackson. Chelsea James. Salisha Jones Wynn. Tanya Kelly. Stephanie Lapointe. Sestine Lewis. Amber Martin. Rachel Matadine Swaby. Ashley Nelson. Lindsay Newkirk. Rachel Nobidi. Ruby Olson. Kelly Pacheco. Carl Ann Padden. Mariella Perez. Amanda Peters. Marcia Pope. Emma Pregemeyer. Malika Pritchett. Iris Reyes Windham. Meredith Romero. Riley Schultz. Mathewoz Shibo. Hysteria Stevenson. Amber Taylor. Leanne Taylor. Lorna Vasquez. Jason W. Williams. Phyllis Williams. Rianne Walgast. Congratulations to the graduates of the College of Health Professions. Tyler Butcher. Devin Morgan. Kenneth Chamberlain. Michael Steck. Daniel Birak. Danielle Ajala Cruz, Brandon Walker, Ulusola Hegbande Legbe, Bradley Centers, DeAndre Dill, Austin Farrell, Manuel Gutierrez, Barbara Ann Hartley, Jeffrey Hogue. Tyler Howell. Lino Lopez. Ricky Mall. Carlos Eduardo Mendez de Oliveira. Luis Montez. Ronald Dean Murphy. Benjamin Okpara. Peter Paradai. Jean Waddleton. Brian Weed. Efren Zamaro. Brian Bureau. Bridget Nickel. Jack Partain. Edison Pescasio. Shane Alexander. Amy Beruba. 
Joshua Davis. Amandeep Dillon. Kevin Lloyd. Michael Fulton. Linda Lilly. Matthew Reagan. John Penny. Daniel Burgess. Conroy Charles. Nicholas Dennis. Peterson Dorsalus. Donald Fitzgerald. Jeremy Lyon. Benjamin Parker. Elizabeth Barnard. Katya Belashkova. Jorge Enrique Hovarubas. Adam Duckett. Stuart George. Joshua Johnson. Gregory Mayhem. Robert Marintet. Priscilla Perez Rosario. Samuel Salyer. James Williams. Congratulations to the graduates of the College of IT. Kimberly Moore. Amy Athey. Amy Cabrera. Berenice Creek. Tiffany Entz. Bridget Evans. Sandy Friedberg. Megan Gonzalez. Caitlin Hyvely. Tabitha Moorfield. Omar Inyeva. Daisy Palacios. Kimberly Patton. Serena Smith. Elizabeth Watson. Marlon Andrade. Jennifer Atkinson. Tisha Birch. Stephen Campos. Samantha Chisholm. Mallory Darger. Jennifer Devine. Alicia Dufay. Maria Heath. Sarah Headland. Nicola Herman. Stacy Hutchinson. Ariana Kibler. Karen Cochise. Trixie Lind. Lori Myers. Veronica Ortiz. Katie Ramirez. Kathy Rippey. 
Christina Roby, Andrea Reinders, Heather Scalp, Tori Sharkley, Nicole Sperry, Donita Star Collins, Soraya Thompson, Devin Vickers, Sarah Warner, Jamie Whistler, Tiffany White, Stacia Almeida, Crystal Bombach, Camille Blue, Olivia Burbage, Jessica Kennard, Melissa Coates, Alicia Cowden, Tara Dome, Lanessa East, Kimberly Eldridge, Chelsea Golub, Christina Green, Kimberly Hancock, Esther Revit Horton, Jocelyn Knox, Karen Lee, Crystal Litton, Marie McDaniel, Angie McElravey, Reagan Molina, Gabrielle Perry, Emily Spencer, Lauren Patricia Thomas, Latresa Thornton, Leah Wilson, Megan Baldwin, Michelle Howell, Amanda Schlosser, Jill Keeney, Jane Archer, Jayla Brandis, Jessica Clemente, James Cox, Amy Fortin, Melissa Foster, Mary Danielle Gonzalez, Brittany Grays, Tristan Ingram, Megan Jones, Danielle Kessler, Jody Knutson, Sarah Lamb, Aspen Longworth, Ben Magnus, Naomi Miller, Carrie Muntz, Leanne Rodovac, Sarah Ray Rupp, Carmen Standiford, Barbara Thigerson, Bridget Williams, Jody Dooley, 
Melissa Shear, Candy Marie Chisholm, Kristen Lilly, Amanda Mesa, Faith Overton, Congratulations to the graduates of the Teachers College. Graduates, please accept our sincere congratulations. You now join a network of more than 215,000 WGU alumni worldwide. Welcome to this amazing community. We invite you to stay engaged by visiting wgu.edu forward slash alumni. For many of you, earning your diploma is the fulfillment of a lifelong goal. The degree you have earned at WGU will create new pathways to opportunity. But it is important to remember that commencement is not the end. It represents a new beginning. Whatever you choose to do, do it well, and great things will follow. Be bold. Learning is a lifelong journey. I urge you, as you continue your journey, to reach out to others in the pursuit of their dreams. Identify meaningful ways to contribute to your communities and help us find our way as a country to unite and create a brighter pathway for future generations. In May of last year, we hosted our first virtual commencement ceremony. Since then, we have hosted three more while we have been unable to gather in person to honor our graduates. During this time, I have witnessed something remarkable. I've seen our already strong students become stronger, resilient, as Marcus mentioned in his message, he pivoted. You pivoted. You arose to the challenges in front of you, and you didn't stop. Given the opportunity, every person has something big to contribute. By pivoting and pushing forward, you have achieved your goal and contributed to your families and communities. At WGU, we have a commitment to serving and uplifting our communities. I challenge you today to make that same commitment. You've proven you can do hard things. Keep, keep pivoting whenever necessary. Dr. Mae Jemison, the first African-American female astronaut, said, never be limited by other people's limited imaginations. I think it's safe to say you've taken this advice, perhaps, without having previously heard it. Today's ceremony is also taking place during Black History Month. And while celebrating the resiliency of our students, it's also a time to recognize and honor the contributions and achievements of the millions of blacks and African Americans who have helped build our nation and enriched our culture. Like Dr. Jemison, it's a time to remember and honor leaders who moved the masses, like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Medgar Evers, Malcolm X, John Lewis, and others. We're also inspired by the actions like the, by those like Jesse Owens, or Rosa Parks, Frank Robinson, Ruby Bridges, and so, so many more. And on a more personal level, it is a time to contemplate the faith and sacrifice of every black ancestor who, in relative obscurity, pressed forward every day and lived a routine of duty and determination, who strived to extend kindness and desired to, to receive it in return whose lives shone brightly with the hope that the lives of their children and the society in which they live will be better than their own. I am deeply grateful, and we should all be deeply grateful to these beloved black pioneers. I'm moved by their resilience and their courage to carry on in the face of adversity. I'm forever thankful for their lives and impact in bringing about a world that is better than before. As we close today, I hope you'll take a moment to reflect on the pride you felt during this ceremony. Although we can't be physically together right now, we invite you to join us at a future in-person commencement. Thank you for letting us be a part of your educational journey and celebrate with you. 
As you celebrate, please share your excitement on social media and remember to use the hashtag WGUGrad. This now concludes our winter virtual commencement ceremony. Stay tuned for congratulatory messages from faculty and staff, and thank you for joining us.